Okay, so um, in today's video, we're actually going to be integrating a, um, the integral from um, 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of sine of x dx. Um, so you can't really do uh, use, you can't really do a use substitution and you can't really do integration by parts since both of those methods are going to be very difficult to integrate into some form of elementary functions. So there's going to be um, an interesting way that we're going to prove this, or rather evaluate this. So with that, let's get started. Um, so first thing I want to do is I want to define, um, let's call this function i of s for, um, you know, sine function equals this integral again. So 0 to pi over 4 of ln of sine of x dx and then I also want to define um, i of c equals um, 0 to pi over 4 of, the, of ln cosine of x dx and now what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to add these two so let me add the two we get uh, the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of sine of x dx then plus the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of cosine of x dx. So basically um, what I'm really going to do is I'm actually going to add these two and subtract the two so that way um, we're actually going to create um, a system system of equations and then solve for the following for um, i of i sub s. Um, with that we're just going to focus on the addition and then we'll get to the, um, the subtraction later. So now that we have this we can actually use our um, rules of natural log or log logarith logarithm functions that we can actually combine into one um, natural log. So this is can be this is rewritten as 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of sine of x, cosine of x, dx. But um, we use our um, identity, we can use our trig identities, we can actually rewrite this as um, 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of sine of 2x divided by 2 dx. Okay, great. Okay, so what I want to do next is I actually want to separate the um, natural logs. So this way, this can be rewritten as um, 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of uh, 1 divided by 2 dx. And then um, plus 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of... Um, Sine of, it, sine of 2x dx. And then I can also rewrite this again as, um, since this is division, so we're subtracting the natural logs. Um, let me write this to the side. Um, the natural log of 1 over 2 is equal to the natural log of 1, then minus natural log of 2, when simply it's just equal to the natural log of 2, because ln of 1 is, ln of 1 is equal to 0. So this really what we have is um, 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of 2 dx and then plus 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of sine 2x, sine 2x dx. Cool. And now this is actually just a simple integration. L ln of 2 is actually just a constant. So when you integrate it by x, so we get um, negative x ln of 2 evaluated from pi over 4 to 0, but it, that actually comes simply to just um, negative pi ln of 2 divided by 4, since you evaluate as 0, the whole thing just becomes 0. And then um, for this piece, I'm actually going to do a u-sub, so let me use a different marker this time. So I'm going to let u equals 2x. And then when we take the derivative of both sides, so du is equal to um, 2 dx, then divide by 2, we get 1 half du is equal to um, dx, okay? And then um, when we um, substitute everything, we also need to change the bounds. 
So when x is equal to zero, then x is equal, to, then u is equal to zero. But then when x is equal to pi over four, then u is equal to pi over two. So that means we have one half, then the integral from zero to pi divided by two of the natural log of sine of um, u du. And um, there's actually plenty of videos out there. I'm actually not gonna evaluate this um, directly since it's, they'll take up too much time. Um, there's actually plenty of videos out there. You can actually check those out to see how they um, integrate this. But just know that um, the result comes down to, um, well, specifically for this integral, not focusing on the one half, it's actually the um, negative <coughs> pi ln of two divided by two. And so when we multiply this out, then we get negative pi ln of two divided by four, okay? So now we have that, so that means this then minus um, pi ln of two divided by four, then we have that it's equal to negative um, pi ln of two divided by two. Okay, like so. I'm just gonna um, box this for now. Just, um, <clears throat> this is our, um, I sub s plus I of c. So this is our result. So now the next thing we're gonna do is actually, we're actually going to um, calculate its difference. So <clears throat> I'm gonna calculate um, I sub s minus I sub c. Yes, and then that's equal to the integral from zero to pi over four of the natural log of sine of x dx then minus integral zero pi over four of ln of cosine of x dx. And using our rules for natural logs again, we can actually combine them. So this is a subtraction of natural logs. So it's under division inside the natural log. So this is um, zero to pi over four of the natural log of sine of x divided by cosine of x dx. When simply using our trig rules, this is actually just tangent. So zero pi over four of the natural log of tangent x dx. Okay. And then I'm gonna do another um, substitution. So I'm going to let uh, t equals um, tangent x. Drop my marker, that's okay. So t is equal to tangent x. Then dt is equal to secant square x dx, okay? And I can actually divide a secant x squared to both sides. So that means we have dt divided by secant x squared um, dx. But notice that we have a t and an x, but we want just um, in terms of t on just one side. So we can actually rewrite this using another trig identity. Uh, secant square x, this is actually equal to d, uh, one plus tangent x squared, tangent x squared. And then I can just replace our, since we have t is equal to tangent x, I can just replace that with dt over one plus t squared equals dx. Okay, nice, very nice. So now we can actually just, um, plug in our substitution and also we're changing our bounds of integration again another time so when um, x is equal to uh, zero that means t is equal to zero and then when x is equal pi over four then tangent of pi over four is equal to one so this means we have like so uh, zero one and then ln of um, ln of t and then multiply by our substitution of dx, which is uh, dt divided by one plus t squared. So let me write it this way. ln of t divided by um, one plus t squared dt. And actually um, the one over one plus t squared, I can actually rewrite it. Um, it can be expanded as in, um, well, not really expanded, but rewritten as a um, infinite geometric series. So I can rewrite this as the integral from zero to one of the natural log of t 
uh, multiplied by its summation from n is equal to 0 in, to infinity of negative 1 to the n times um, t to the 2n dt. And then by using our um, properties of um, summations, we can actually just move this outside the integral. And negative 1 raised to the n shows the constant, so I'm, I can move that outside as well. So um, I'm actually going to write it over here. So this is, um, what is it, the um, sigma, sigma from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, then it's integral from 0 to 1 of t, I'm actually going to move this to the front, so it's t raised to the 2n multiplied by ln of t dt, okay? Okay, so um, I'm actually, we're actually going to be um, performing another... Uh, we're actually going to be performing um, integration by parts for this piece of the integral. So that means I'm going to let uh, u equals um, ln of t, and that means du is equal to um, 1 over t dt, then dv is equal to, two to the t to the 2n dt, then when we take its um, integral that's plus one so then so then this will be um t to the 2n plus one divided by uh 2n plus one okay so now we can actually just plug the pieces together so u times v minus the integral of v times du um so this is ln i'm actually going to write it like this t 2n plus 1 and ln of t then divided by uh, 2n plus 1 okay let's actually evaluate this from 0 to 1 first so when I plug t is equal to um, 1 so this is 1 raised to 2n plus 1 so it doesn't matter what um, natural number you choose 1 raised to any exponent is always going to equal 1 and when you plug the natural the natural log of one, that's zero. So the whole thing just becomes zero. Now when I plug zero, um, notice that when I plug ln of zero, it actually uh, diverges to negative infinity. But when I plug zero into um, t for um, t raised to two n plus one, zero raised to two n plus one, it's a, it's always going to be equals zero. Um, so that means this whole this whole piece evaluate from 0 to 1 is just equal to 0. Okay, so now the last part is to find its um, integration. So 0 then minus the integral from um, v times du. So this is 1 over t multiplied by t to the 2n plus 1 divided by um, 2n plus 1 dt. Notice that there's a t on the denominator and there's a t at the base of the numerator, so I can actually rewrite this as t to the 2n plus 1, then this is t to the negative 1, so minus 1, so the 1s will cancel out. So this will be um, t to the 2n, then divided by um, 2n plus 1 dt. Then simply, you can just, then simply integration is simple from here, so this is equal to negative um t to the 2n plus 1 then divided by um 2n plus 1 square okay now when i um evaluate this from 0 to 1 then that means um t that means when t is equal to 1 this is just one of the numerator as said with before um, 1 raised to any exponent is equal to just 1, then my plug 0 is always 0, so therefore this could be rewritten as um, uh, 1 then divided by 2n plus 1 square. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a minus. So we can replace this and put it back and, be, and multiply by our summation. So therefore we have um, sigma, yeah I'll write it here actually. Sigma from n is equal to 0 to infinity of, um, and this is a negative, so I'm actually going to move the negative out here. So this is multiplied by negative 1 raised to the n divided by uh, 2n plus 1 squared. 
And notice that um, this is actually the definition of Catalan's constant, which is a constant that's actually widely used in the um, world of combinatorics. So I'm actually going to define this to be um, this summation is equal to c, so that means this is equal to um, negative c. Okay, nice. And and notice that and because um, we have a negative c, so that means i sub s minus i sub c is equal to negative c. Okay, so now that we have that, um, now I'm actually going to rewrite this in a um, simple matrix form. So we have our pieces. We have that. Um, let's make it a little bigger. This is from is is ic negative ic. Uh, we have that. Um, this is equal to negative pi ln of two divided by two, and then this is negative c. So in other words, we can rewrite this as um, as a systems of equation like so. Is plus ic equals negative pi ln of two divided by two. Then is minus ic is equal to negative c, which is c is our um, Catalan's constant. And, and then we're gonna add these um, two together, the two, the two equations together. So that would be get two i sub s, um, i sub c minus i sub c is equal to zero. And then that's equal to negative pi ln of two divided by two and minus c. Then divide two from both sides. We get that i sub s is equal to negative pi ln of two divided by four minus c divided by two. Okay. So therefore we can conclude that the integral from zero to pi over four of ln of sine of x dx is equal to negative pi ln of two divided by four minus c divided by two, where c is Catalan's number, Catalan's constant, like so. And there you have it. It's pretty cool, right?